hi to Chaco. Okay, Sock vs Romantic, third place match. So we have two more best of five to cast. I'm pretty sure this is best of five. Yeah, semifinals were best of five. This is also best of five. I need to upgrade the, the grid command for you guys. Semifinals and yeah, best of five. Ctrl C. Oh, you already did it, Alsaria? Okay, thanks. Um, Infi has enough points, I guess. Yeah, Infi has enough points, and so does Life. Hi, all from uh, the office in Chicagoland. Hello, Frida Kuhn from the office in the Netherlands. Are you only allowed for fast expansion in this cup? <laughs> no, you're allowed to uh, do fast creeping as well, and that's what they're doing. We have this beautiful game. That's uh, definitely beautiful. Sock in the blue, romantic in the red, everything beautiful. Not sure if the Archmages are correct. Let me just double check. We have 268 for Sock's Archmage. Oh, they both have 268. By the way, Sock just played against Moon. He didn't get like a, a second to think. And now he has to play against Romantic for this third place uh, match. Um, how much money are they fighting for? Of course, I can answer all your questions while they're creeping. They're playing for uh, the fourth place, $158. Third place, $316. So, in other words, a difference of $158. So, the third place gets twice as much as the fourth place. Uh, 509. They still have exactly the same XP. That's nice. This footman here takes a bit of damage. Socks in the blue. Romantic in the red. This footman here takes a bit of damage. This arc match here. Retreating. This footman, you know. Oh, water elementals doing uh, great. This footman is Michael back. Are they attacking? No. Oh, Sock is attacking, guys. Romantic is not attacking just yet. And this Archmage is moving over here. What is this Archmage going to do? Buy some items, maybe? Some items. Let's see what he's doing here. He's buying a booster speed. This Archmage here tries to get a footman. Be free. Be, be beautiful. Free. Be, be, like beautiful. be like Chaco or be like Back to Warcraft. Hello. Thanks for the host, Back to Warcraft. And welcome to all of back to work with viewers. And now we kill the peasant. Socks Archmage does kill that peasant. Very nice kill on the peasant. And here we have an Archmage. So now there's a difference in XP. So Sock Socks Archmage has 25 more XP or not 50 more XP because he killed two peasants. 559 XP. Let me just check. Is that okay? The heroes are correct in the overlay. What a game, guys. What a game. And you know what else we got here? An Archmage with boots and, uh, you know, Mantle of Intelligence and Gloves of Haste. Well, this Archmage here, for Sock, he also has boots, also has Mantle of Intelligence, but has a circlet instead of the Gloves of Haste. Uh, but he doesn't have sense words. There, the footman died to the creeps. I'm pretty sure, but how sure am I, really? 566 XP against... Wait, I can check this. Romantic. I'm not 100% sure. This uh, sentry word has been placed. Oh, this sentry ward does go down. That's nice. That fight was so interesting. <laughs> this uh, farm is going up. And here comes the Archmage. And here's the Archmage. Nice. He cancels the healing self. And Sock. Now it's Sock's turn to defend. Now it is Romantic on the offensive. Sock is only slightly ahead in tech. These footmen here going for these footmen in the back. This footman here is in so much trouble, guys. This footman, he runs. Does he survive? The Archmage runs as well. This footman, does he survive? So far, he's surviving. Uh, but he does go down. And the Archmage, I think he tried to summon this water elemental in the base. Or maybe, uh, I'm not sure, but he's over there now. This water elemental is in the base, but he's getting killed. He's not going to kill anything. He's just going down, guys. Water elemental does go down. And this Archmage, guess what he's doing? Sock. He's going for the counter attack. These footmen in the back, very low on hit points. These peasants here, taking a bit of damage. Romantic is 9 supply up. What the fuck? But Sock, I mean, he has a bit more money. This uh, water elemental does go down. The footman also goes down. The Archmage here, losing a lot of mana. But he's out of mana. So, he cannot lose any more mana, guys. If you really want a break, just go AFK for 20 and we watch... Without your guidance. The next game, I mean. I mean, I'm not sure I can do that. We have an Alchemist. Both players going for the Alchemist second. 
Interesting choice. Um, interesting. It's actually the first time I see this. Uh, usually we see the Mountain King second in this patch. But now we see some Alchemist. Maybe the Alchemist is better than the Mountain King. This is some nice healing waves. This footman here going down. He's dead. Does he surround this Alchemist? This footman is, is dead, guys. So a lot of dead footmen already. I think with the Alchemist, no footmen are going to, to die because he heals all their footmen. But no. The footmen don't die. I mean, the footmen do die. They don't survive. That's what I'm trying to say here. Even with the healing. Arcane Sanctum's going up. He's building some priests. Hi all, hello Liko, Loot. Yeah, just use the camera thingy and go away. We only need to see one player in this matchup since <laughs> they're doing exact the same thing. There's no other camera. You see this? I'm actually in the game. I'm not watching this on NetEase TV. So, I don't have other camera. So, I have to be here, guys. The Archmage. Over here, with a clarity. With a clarity. A player scores a under. 53. T3. Okay, I need to switch the alchemist around. Oh, but we have a creep jack here. We have a creep jack. What is he doing here? He's going for the priest. The priest is still alive. Uh, look at the healing by the alchemist. This footband, though, still dies. And you know what is the supplies? 40 against 41. Stock is doing just great, guys. This priest takes a bit of damage. He might cause the priest back. Very good micro by Sock. And now the Archmage attacking this footman. Yeah, and there's a the healing. But the footman runs out of the healing. He doesn't want to be healed. This footman over here takes a bit of damage. This priest here. He's micro back. There's some footman. There's a footman over there. What a game. One will focus versus WZ play. It's not 120. Hello, the finals is focus versus WFC. Oh no, you mean about uh, you're ta not ta talking about fast cup, You're talking about GCS. They will play tomorrow. Uh, we have this beautiful fight. This Archmage is level four. These water elementals they do get dispelled. I guess focus is in really good shape. By the way, he's doing good in GCS. He's doing good in fast cup. He's just, I mean, he's in finals of both of them. This. Priest is is he dead? He is dead. The priest is dead, guys. What well, is how the meta evolves? Something is new and then it's really strong. While well, it's new and people learn how to use it, and afterwards people learn how to counter it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. His archmage level four for stock. He has such a nice archmage level advantage. Alchemist is healing himself. This alchemist is healing himself as well. Alchemist survives. He has boots. This Alchemist also has boots. Uh, I'm surprised those boots fit. I mean, the ogres have big feet, guys. Maybe the goblin on top of the ogre is wearing the boots. Makes sense. The blue is impossible to read. It's a sock. <laughs> it is sock. I just made it so easy to read as well with the glow. You see? I guess, I guess... Uh, yeah, I guess I have to work on that glow a little bit more. The priest goes down. The problem is in CSS you have so little control over the glow. At least, uh, you know, maybe you can use some super techniques to get some more control over the glow. There goes the water elemental. He's dead, guys. And I mean, I guess I can just use some uh, JavaScript. To make the, the glow depend on how big the font is. This priest is almost dead. Almost dead, guys. And the alchemist takes an acid bomb on his face. And he acid bombs it back. This priest here, is he uh, is he going to die, perhaps? No, he survives. Uh, for now. The alchemist goes for... Oh, sneak attack on the priest. The priest does go down. The alchemist is so slow, guys. He's moving so slow. And now, we see Water Elemental being summoned here by this Romantic Archmage. He has two Water Elementals. We don't have enough Dispel here to dispel them. Well, Romantic has enough Dispel to dispel Sox Water Elementals. And, you know, even though the Alchemist died for Romantic, and I didn't point that out at all. Even though the Alchemist died, you know, his Water Elementals are super duper strong. 
And we see this expansion going up. Romantic with the expansion. The water elemental does go down here again. This Archmage level 4.6. This Archmage 4.4 or so. Sock is in the lead. He has more supply. He has more money. But he does need to, to do something about this expansion. That's what, that's what he's doing. Focus is better on the special, I think. Yeah, but it doesn't even make sense. He doesn't use anything from the patch, right? Focus is just playing Blade Master first, Shadow Hunter second. Doesn't even use Serpent Wards. He's just playing exactly like how he's always been playing. But maybe that's why he's winning so many games because all these other players are like trying out new shit that they're not used to just yet. And Focus is just like I'll do what I know I, how to play. The Alchemist level three. Well, this alchemist is just level 2 still. There's another water elemental. This spellbreaker here takes so much damage. It's looking difficult for romantic guys. So difficult. He's even sent some militia and water elemental over there to kill the peasants. Sends another water, water elemental to help kill the peasants. But the peasants, they're running for their lives. So smart. They're by the peasants. They don't want to die. I don't want to die either. If I was a peasant, I'd be running. I'd be running for my life. But one peasant dies, guys. He dies. And the other person is still alive. This Archmage is almost level 5. But not quite yet. He's playing Farseer a lot, isn't he? Focus? No. Alchemist, new meta. Uh, I think so, apparently. Sok played non-stop Archmage and Alchemist last night on Leather. So he's on good shape with his combo. I mean, just, I mean, just because he plays it like for one week. Doesn't mean, you know... You need to understand that Archmage, uh, Mountain King, they've been playing for years. Anyway, this Alchemist here is my good back. He's still alive. Socks, uh, oh, he's losing this priest. He's dead. There's some dispels on that water elemental. This water elemental here. Oh, this priest is dead. This Alchemist, okay, he's just standing there. The footman is making sure no one's mining over there. Sock, he can still lose. Look, it's 57 against 57 now. His last fight went really well for Romantic. He hardly lost anything. He killed like three units there. And his, although we have level 5 Archmage to level 4. Did he pick level 3 Brilliance? No, level 3 Water Elementals. Which means uh, if he has enough mana to dispel this. If Romantic gets enough mana, he can get so much XP, guys. This Spellbreaker here might get back by Romantic. But does he still die? Yes, he still dies. This Water Elemental to front. Is there a dispel? There's no mana for the dispel. And Water Elementals not being dispelled means they do so much damage. Hello, 41 to 49 damage. That's so much damage when uh, we're talking about a human mirror where everything does so little damage. Spellbreakers do like 13 to 15 times one and a half against each other. The priests are healing everything up. They don't do damage. The Archmage just a little bit of damage. The Alchemist doesn't do amazing damage either. It's just the Water Elementals. If they don't get dispelled, they do so much damage in comparison. And that's how Stock won that fight, of course. Romantic TPs to this base. So it's three supply up, and but most importantly, he's up in water elementals, guys. He's killing peasants now. Did you use the micro servers for your pro for some project? Wait, what? Oh, I'll read it in a second what you guys are talking about. One priest does go down. Uh, acid bomb on the archmage, and well, there's a water elemental here for romantic. Does he surround it? No, he just ignores it. Uh, water elemental does retreat. These guys in the back are healing each other because they have been acid bombed. It. There's some militia guys. Some militia going for these peasants. This, this expansion is already pretty low. 588 hit points. Uh, if he is at ever, if Sok ever feels like uh, he will lose the fight, he can always send the sapper over to kill the expansion and then TP out. But so far, it seems like Sok is just confident. He can keep map control. He can keep winning fights. It's gonna be just fine. The Archmage is now oh, still not level 5 for Romantic. This Priest, though, is dead. Bad position for the Priest. The Alchemist kills him. And you know this Water Elemental. Do we see some dispels? These Priests have a lot of mana. They don't dispel the Water Elemental. Oh, they do dispel. There goes the Spellbreaker, though, for Sok. Peasants destroying the town hall. There's, some, uh, there's another healing wave, a healing spray, I mean, by the Alchemist. And there's a GG by Romantic. Isn't that beautiful? And Sock in the blue. 
Now you might say, Chaco, at the bottom left, the colors are still wrong. I have nothing to say, guys. I can't fix that. I can't fix everything. There. Is that not beautiful? Chaco, that's beautiful. Thanks, guys. You guys are beautiful as well. Okay, so we have this Archmage for Romantic. Just creeping. We have this Archmage here for Sock. Just creeping. There's a Flute of Accuracy. And this first little Shadow uh, High Priest is going down. Chaco, what business did you start in Japan? I had like an English uh, teaching business. Um, I was building this app. It was just gonna re revolutionize the way you uh, learn English. The way Japanese learned English. And it was a really good app. It was probably the best app I've ever seen. Uh, one of the reasons is that I wrote it myself. Um, it wasn't quite finished. It wasn't actually the best app yet that I've ever seen. But it was kind of already, you know, it was definitely on the track to being the best app. But, you know, I ran out of time, out of uh, money, out of resources. I was just doing too much myself. And that's why, uh, you know, it didn't go too well. Archmage over here. Archmage over here. Archmage, this Archmage is almost level 3, guys. Almost level 3 for Romantic. He's gonna hit level 3. Level 3 Archmage. I mean, it was an app, but you know, it was just the, the okay, the XA, we had a level 3 first for, shit. Uh, but like, just the way, just the way uh, I designed the app was really cool, actually. I could talk about it. I could talk about it, because it's just gonna creep. But let's see if they're gonna fight here. If they're gonna creep all game long, I maybe I can talk about it. Why it was such a brilliant and amazing app, and what it did, and why it was so good. Um... Okay, we have food man, I mean. What's the name? The name of the app was uh, Amy-chan. But I did uh, remove it from the shop. I did remove it from the store. Besides, it was only available in the Japanese iPhone store. How come they still have an, the same amount of XP? Can you guys get a difference in XP? So I can check in the overlay that the Archmages are actually on the correct side. <laughs> This footman going for the tower. What is the difference in tech, by the way? The difference in tech is minimal. This uh, Archmage takes a lot of damage of Sock. This footman takes a bit of damage. This footman, this peasant dies. And now we have a difference in XP, right? 573? Yes. So Sock's Archmage is 573. Okay, what does the overlay say? That says... Okay, that's correct. Perfect. Wait, this one now is uh, 605. He killed a water elemental or something? Probably. Amy Chan? <laughs> yeah, Amy Chan. But it's, uh, I mean, it's like wordplay in English. There goes the footman. Because ego uh, means English. So I wrote it like with that in the Japanese way, but like just how we read English. This, uh, this creep is dead. And this Archmage is still fine. This Archmage is almost level 4. Uh, hi, Brances. People here may steal it. I mean, at this point, you know, you can just steal it. I mean, I'm not gonna do, deal with it anymore. Uh, although it was brilliant, I just... You know, I'm not gonna continue with that. The one peasant is dead. This peasant is also dead. Uh, this Goblin Metal here takes a lot of damage. Can he get the XP? If he gets the XP, he gets level 4. He, d he does get the XP. Or maybe he got the XP from the footman. Yeah, that's it. He did not get the XP. But he got the footman. Level 4 Archmage. Against a level 3 Archmage here for Sock. And that means, of course, that uh, Romantic is definitely winning this game. Look at that Archmage difference. Romantic also 6 supply up. What a game, guys. How's Hawk compared to, say, Sock? I don't know exactly. Like... I don't know. Maybe we'll see in GCS. Hawk is pretty good, guys. Hawk is really good. Is he better than Sock? I don't know. This Berserker here. Footman takes some damage. Here is Sock. Here is Romantic. They both have boots. Look at his Archmage too. Rope of the Magi's. So much mana, so much damage. And we have Alchemist for both players. That's nice. 
So we got to go to a meeting. We'll ask again about the app. Okay, good look at the meeting, Chicago Chan. I mean, Frida Kun. Uh, this footman, footman goes down. This footman, oh, is this a comeback for Sock? He just kills two footmen for free. I mean, I, I can't call it much of a comeback because he wasn't that far behind. But I guess it is a comeback because he's still so far behind in XP. And I mean, he killed two footmen, lost one footman. And he buys a Zeppelin. Can he do some harassment over here? Oh, we have a Shredder. Shredder for Romantic. Here is, oh, and this Bottle Metal. Free XP here for the Alchemist. 29. 29 for this Alchemist, which is on his way to level 5. Arcane Sanctum going up. Two of them going up. These Arcane Sanctums also going up. And there goes the Arcane Tower. This, this Water Elemental. Oh, there's healing. Water Elemental does go down. And, you know, units picked up. Units, all these units pick Oh, Zeppelin. If he loses the Zeppelin, he loses the game. But he doesn't lose the Zeppelin. 39 hit points. One more attack of a water elemental would be enough to kill it. Oh, look at him. He's just flying over over here. If Romantic spots this thing. No. Romantic not even close. Here he is. Shaku, you like uh, Poma grenades? Or gr That's how you put the nuts, it's right? Poma. Poma grantes? Po I think you're talking about Poma grenades, right? Um, I'm not a big fan. I don't dislike them. I mean, I, I guess I like them, but there's a lot of food I prefer. You still have the source code of your app? Yes. Couldn't you just keep it as a side project or make it open source? I guess I could, but you know, it's just too much effort right now. <laughs> too much effort. Besides, uh, it's like in Japanese. All of it is in Japanese. And I think to have... Oh! GG. Scene kit is what I tried to use. What was the size of employees at most of at your company? No, I was just doing it by myself. I was just starting it up. And that, that was my mistake, really. I was just... Uh, I was outsourcing stuff to uh, India a little bit. Not probably as much as I did. So I had some people... Uh, I had like... Uh, people working for me right in India they weren't employees they were just um, how do you call them freelancers yeah I guess freelancers I just hired freelancers I didn't have the money yet I didn't have the solid income yet to get higher employees and I, I the, the biggest mistake is that I didn't go for a, uh, a co-partner how do you call it like an uh, co-owner co you know when you set up a business with someone else uh, initially, I was planning to do that, but the person I, I, you know, I was gonna set up this business with, uh, I felt like he didn't really, he was really a good person to set up a business with. So then I was like, okay, well, I'll just do it by myself then. And it was a big mistake, guys. It's, uh, you know what? If, if any of you is ever planning to set up a company, my my biggest advice here, the most important advice is try to find as many people before you start right find as many people as you can to work with right and even like i know like investors as well like the only thing they look at uh, when they invest a project they just look at how many people are on the project how many people are uh, is in your team this guy just dispelled like his water elemental if you have like four five people on the team you have five people committed doesn't even matter what it is like it could be the worst id ever and investors will invest uh if you're just by yourself it could be the best idea ever, but it's uh, no one's gonna invest. And why? Because it's just it's all about the people, guys. Um, <laughs> slaves in India? No, I paid them. <laughs> it's often easier to say who's the best or second best. Oh shit. The chat just moved. It's often easier to say who is the best or second best than to say who is the third best though. Come on, stupid chat. I scroll up, don't scroll back down. The the lower you go, the smaller and less clear the difference becomes, so it may not be very useful to discuss. 
Yeah, I mean, it is, uh, it is what we do here, though. I mean, I prefer discussing that than some other stuff here. We have an Archmage, he's level 3 here. We have an Archmage, he's level 3 here. 835 here for, uh, for Sock. This match, this map, by the way, is actually one of the most boring human mirrors. Because they always, they, they, they always just creep, like, one side of the map completely. Before anything happens. Okay, there's a footman disguise over here. That's nice. And let's see what's happening over here. This footman takes a lot of damage, guys. There's a water elemental. And I mean, let's see who wins this fight. This footman is dead. The book of the dead is still used here. It's still active. Uh, he can dispel some of them. He has actually one of them. He has one dispel. Wait, no, this room. Yeah, I mean, oh no, yeah. But this guy is being hunted down. This guy as well. This guy has a lot of mana. Hello, don't just lose your. Your guy, hello, Sock. What a miss, Michael, there by Sock. That forest so said the priest should have walked south and not just, you know, died. Now we have a level 4 Archmage for Romantic as well. And what is he buying? He buys boots. The footman there is dead, guys. 27 supply against 34. The skeletons here are just uh, some more free XPs. He's like, okay, I'll take it. Sock is like, thanks. Oh, that, yeah. Okay. There goes another one. Some more free XP's for Sock. It looks like really good for Sock so far, this game. Hello. This Archmage, level 4.6 or 4.7. This Archmage, 4.1 or something. The sheep blocks the Archmage. This Water Elemental here is doing just fine. Um, okay, Romantic is a bit faster at tier 2. Already building his Arcane Sanctums. Already building his Mountain King. But this means like Sock is ahead in supply. When he doesn't even have his second hero yet. What a game, guys. Oh, Alchemist second for Sock. Oh, we have a Mount King against the Alchemist. Hello. So the Alchemist for Sock. Is that correct? Yes, correct. More healing here on the footman. Let's see who wins, guys. The Mount King or the Alchemist. This Forest to Shadow Priest is so low on hit points. One footman does go down. And this guy also goes down. Pesso 5, Human Mirror, <laughs> Happy Face, yeah. Nice Stormbolt here on the Berserker. He is dead. And there goes the Peasant. Do another Stormbolt, guys. Stormbolt, so good at this game. So good. This Militia is dead, though. Archmage. He has a Claws of Attack, Gloves of Haste. Flute of Accuracy, he does so much damage, but he does have to TP out. Because the Mountain King is just too strong. This Archmage is doing just fine. 65 hit points, 60 hit points, 56 hit points. He doesn't have a Priest, so if he dies, I mean, don't blame me, guys. 34 hit points, 29, 30, 25, 20, 16, 12, 7, 8, 3, TPs. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow, guys. <laughs> that acid bomb, man. That uh, this is level one acid bomb. Only does 120 damage. Uh, does it do reduce damage? Yeah, it does reduce damage to a hero. So on a hero, it does. Um, 84 damage, I think. 84 damage on the hero. I'm not sure how much hit points he had when he got the ace bomb, but, but something it was pretty close. What a game. Mount King is almost level two. Here we see an expansion. Here we see an uh, expansion. Romantic is I mean he's uh, in this game still. He's behind the hero level, so. Archmage is only level 4.4. .4. This one's level 5. And does so much damage. Hello, plus 21. And it does attack so fast. Archmage is level 2.5 against the Mountain King, who's not even level 2. Uh, Archmage. Oh, this priest here takes a bit of damage. This priest is going down, guys. He does die. And is he. Uh, what's his Stormbolt going for? Of course, Archmage says, be careful. There's no Zeppelin. For uh, for Sock, maybe that's a mistake. Maybe he should have a Zeppelin against the Mountain King. Maybe he's waiting until he gets 50 supply. Doesn't think it's worth it just yet. There's some he healing by the uh, Alchemist. 
This water elemental does go down as well. This peasant retreating, guys. These peasants are retreating. What a game. Stormbolt on the priest, guys. This priest is taking. Is he going down? The priest is dead. I mean, he's probably in the back. He dies. Archmage um, doing just fine. Okay, so the Mountain King is finally level two. I wonder if he picked Bash or Clap. Do we see some? Oh, there's Bash. Okay, he does pick Bash. I mean, the reason I was thinking about clap is because we still have a lot of footmen and priests, but of course the healing wave, healing spray counters the clap, kinda. And oh wait, no expansion for uh, romantic. I just now realized this. And does he know about this expansion? Blacksmith going up. Priest going up. Water elemental going down slowly. Well, this is gonna be the fight, guys. The fight that decides the game. I mean, these heroes are stronger here for uh, Sok, but it's stronger in the sense that they're higher level. I think the Mountain King is just so powerful, though. He can maybe get a hero kill and win the game still. But that is definitely what he needs to do. Romantic needs to get a hero kill, like an Archmage kill or an Alchemist or both. But instead, the Mountain King is taking so much damage. Ace it bomb, and he's dead. That, and that's GG. GG. The extra damage by walking, how hardcore you do walk, what the fuck. I don't know, maybe my body is just weak or something, but... I just was walking a lot, like, imagine like... 20 kilometers. I don't know how much this is in miles, but every day. For like, years. I did it for a few years. Uh, there was before... Before I set up my company in Japan. I just, I just liked being out, guys. I liked to explore cities. I was out every day. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful game. We have two, far, uh, two Archmages, guys. Two Archmages. Sok has an Archmage. Romantic has an Archmage. Romantic gets a Gauntlet. Sok gets a Gauntlet. Even Steven. Alchemist meta owns Farseer meta, the human orc, so orcs don't, won't take Farseer. That's a really good point there, Demon makes. That's one of the reasons uh, we don't see Farseer yet against human. We don't see Farseer against Night Elf, we don't see Farseer against Undead. So, yeah, Farseer. And we saw a few Farseers in Orc Mirror, but the Farseer players kept losing. So it seems like, yeah, we don't get the farts here, guys. The alchemist is just too strong. This footman is so strong. Shadow hunter is too strong. This footman, what is he going for? Peasants? No. I've heard Stephen Hawking's chair got free in Cambridge. Could use it for commentating. Oh, Kappa. His archmage is doing just fine. I want to see some Shadowhunter Archmage shenanigans from a top player. Well, I'm sure we'll see some at some point. A player's forces are under attack. Is he going for a creep jack here? Can you imagine GCS without Foggy? I can't. No, of course not. I hope uh, he makes it. Okay. Archmage is level 3. Good thing, good thing we have two spots. Uh, this peasant does go down. Don't think the Archmage got XP for it. He's still level 2, guys. He needs 35 more XP. Two peasants. One, two. Footman goes down. This uh, this peon goes down, so we have level three now. 
Level 3 on the Archmage. This Archmage, what he's buying? He has a clause of attack plus 6. He sells an item, buys some boots. This Archmage has two gauntlets, a clause of attack plus 6, and a circlet. We see a uh, romantic here, tier 2, or almost a tier 2. Sock already at tier 2. Do we see the Alchemist, or does he go for a TC, also known as a Mount King? Let's see what we see. We see an Alchemist. And what do we see here for Romantic? Alchemist? Could it be Naga? Could go Naga and just snipe these heroes. Right click heroes. This footman is might go back. This footman also pretty low. This footman does go down. Oh, this Naga! Wow! Chaco! Hello! Chaco, how did you know? Guys, I, I'm just really good at this game. I just saw an opportunity. I'm like... Naga? If you just focus the heroes, you know, you can just win the game, right? Because the Alchemist is not very good against hero focus. He's just healing. He is, is, is a, his healing is not good to heal like a single target unit, right? It's like AOE healing. So with the Naga, you just focus one unit at a time. So he focuses the Alchemist and he can maybe focus the Archmage. The Archmage here tries to kill this Archmage, but no, not gonna happen. A romantic with the Naga surprise attack. Does he give the boots to the Naga? No. You have boots on the Archmage. The Naga could use those boots. This uh, Archmage over there. Oh, this footman in trouble, guys. In so much trouble. Oh, never mind. No trouble. No trouble for the footman. Oh, is he in trouble? Oh, there's no creeps here. Uh-oh. Look, there's his friend. His friend died. And now this footman also dies. Two dead humans over there. Archmage and Naga creeping over here. You sure it's best of five? Yes. If it was best of three, it was already over. Stoka. What do you think? It's best of seven? Uh, the reason I am sure it's best of five, by the way, is only because of Wikipedia. So if you wrote on Wikipedia, uh, or, you know, I got my information from uh, Wikipedia, I'm just saying. We have a level two Naga. Find us the best of seven. Okay, well. Uh, this Alchemist is going down. And this Archmage is taking a lot of damage. Look at the footman block here. Make sure to kill the Archmage or force the TP. Okay, is that gonna be TP? The healing uh, spray helps a little bit. Oh, but it, the Archmage gets away. What a game. And Romantic doesn't have much, he much here besides the heroes, but his heroes are so good at sniping. He has level two Naga, level four Archmage. There's so much sniping here done by Romantic. And this Archmage, hello. Okay, he kills the priest and TP's out himself. And a footman over there. What a game, guys. 14 hit point TP. Might just be best of 15. Why no nobody makes blood mage for his alchemist? I don't know. Maybe they haven't thought about it yet. Thought one Moon today? I thought it was yesterday. Or did he win again against Moon? Here come the militia guys. This footman takes a lot of damage. Nice shockwave hits like a lot of units. This uh, footman might go back. This overlord is dead. Oh, Tome of Experience. Who's gonna pick that up? The Alchemist picks this up. And a Cloak of sh uh, Flames as well. And this Alchemist is now getting pretty strong, guys. Two gauntlets. He's almost level three. Soon he's gonna kill everyone. And this Berserker is dead. And he picks up the Tome of Healing. Alchemist is almost level four. Alchemist is almost level three. This Archmage level 4, this Naga almost level 3. A player's force is under attack. What's happening over here? The Archmage buys something. He buys a scroll of healing. Uh, Naga for Lightning's the turtle. Doesn't get the item though. Alchemist got a greater healing potion. The Naga, low on hit points. 
but written in a tome of experience. It's a bi 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 how do you call it? Bibliography? Biography of uh, of Steve Jobs. There goes another priest. Two priests died here for romantic. Not a great fight for romantic. Did he kill something? Don't think so. This guy is level three. Oh, expansion going up for romantic. Hello, Chaco. We have an expansion going up already up for sock as well. His Naga got uh, Ace bombed in the face. She is still alive though with the boots of speech. She can always retreat. This Alchemist has a greater healing potion. And uh, wait, the Naga died to the Ace bomb, of course. I keep forgetting about the acid bone, just doing so much damage in the background. It keeps killing heroes when I'm not paying attention. Just because uh, as a commentator, I'm not used yet to that acid bomb. GG. And Sock wins 3-1, guys. Over Romantic.